Hi, my name is Sneaky from Cloud9, and this is my bot lane guide to Quirky Karma. So, Quirky and Karma have pretty decent synergy. They have a lot of poke together. The best point of their synergy comes in past level 6, where Quirky can actually start poking people rather than having average trades with his phosphorus bomb. But besides that, once they are past 6, they'll just be spamming rockets, spamming Qs, doing tons of damage. The move speed really helps Quirky just get in there and help him survive, stuff like that. It not Nothing else too amazing. Karma is pretty hard to synergize with. So, Quirky Karma in solo queue is okay. They can't really go too hard in laning phase. Like, Karma can kind of carry it by hitting your Qs, but Quirky's pretty weak, honestly, in laning phase. Uh, Q only really gets strong past 6, and when he gets his Trendy Force, if he can get Snowball leads off getting those Trendy Force and uh, just being high-leveled, then he can start winning the game, but... Besides that, it's a lot up to the enemy laners to abuse them. Levels 1 to 2 for Quirky Karma are pretty average. The main thing you want to do is just maybe if Karma hits her Q, you can land your Q very easily since they're slowed. If you get level 2 first, then you can go for an all-in. I'm pretty undecided on if you should get uh, Valkyrie or Galling out 2 on Quirky. Usually it depends on if you're getting an all-in or not, and you don't want to like full-on commit, but sometimes there's like these moments where you pick up Gatling Gun level 2 for the all-in, and then they ended up flashing away and you probably could have killed them with Valk. So, I recommend getting Valk second, even though you get an all-in. Levels 3 to 4 for Quirky Karma are the same thing as levels 1 to 2. You really just want to sit back, poke, farm, don't go too ham. You can't really do much as Quirky. Karma can do a lot of work, but Quirky specifically just wants to reach 6 without killing himself like maybe if the jungler ganks and you get a kill like yeah sure that's good for you but you can't really force things on your own it's it's too hard to hit your Q and get good trades off so just play it safe levels 5 to 6 for Quirky Kama are not their strongest point but pretty close to it they get a pretty big power spike usually you have to wait a bit for Quirky to start charging up his rockets it actually takes a lot of time you know a little trick you can do is if you die right at 6, you'll get all of your rockets. You get 7 rockets immediately on your death. So maybe if Revive was back in the game, that might be a legit strat. But just saying, it's a little tip I didn't actually know for a very long time on Quirky. But besides that, just wait for your rockets, charge them up. Make sure that you can actually throw them out and finish them. I wouldn't recommend throwing them on cooldown unless they're 1 HP, obviously. So try and poke them out. Don't get too crazy. But you are pretty strong at this point. Quirky Kama has uh, some okay matchups against most people. Obviously, Callista is the hardest one to play against, but that's true for every AD carry. Quirky is a pretty hard matchup against Ash, which is also another lane bully. Caitlyn's okay. It's not the worst, just because she doesn't have much of CC force on you, and you can hit your Q when she tries to kill you, so not the worst matchup. But besides that, supports, matchups usually just depending on if the enemy can land the CC for him to win onto you. If they don't, then you're going to be poking him out too hard for, him, for them to even really get close. With like, you know, Thresh trying to walk up and hook or flay. It might just be too low to even try. So, has generally okay matchups. Gets a lot better at 6 with any matchup, of course. So, uh, Quirky Kama mainly wants to, at all points of the game, wants to just poke out enemies. Uh, they don't really have high CC to just get on someone and kill them. They want to just, you know, hit their AoE in the most effective way possible or, you know, hit their poke in the most effective way possible. So doing anything to guarantee that would be good. Like, say the enemy is on Dragon, you and, uh, say you're Quirky, you and your uh, support combo just walk up, start throwing rockets, throwing Qs at them, whatever you can, poke them out before the fight even starts so that you just have a health advantage. Uh, that's that's the main point. Um, Mid-game, late-game, you're doing the same thing. You... You just want to keep poking them out. Uh, it, it's hard to get a combo off just because, you know, Karma has speed ups, Quirky has Valk, but you don't really have any other hard CC. Like, yeah, the root from Karma is okay, but nothing to go crazy about since it's so short ranged. Thank you for watching this guide on Quirky Karma. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides here at lawclass.com.